What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob Alpha Bikini Bottom. In the last part, we finished up over here at SpongeBob Stream and uh, went over here to the Flying Dutchman's graveyard and did some stuff, uh, which we will be continuing this episode. I really just wanted to, um, for that, if you'll notice, we've got a lot more shiny objects. I went back to um, the Sand Mountain in between. Um, and went on Guppy Mount and grinded like crazy and uh, about an hour and a half I got all these shiny objects, which were just always nice So we're gonna go give them to Mr. Krabs and get the last eight. I hope this is enough. I'm not sure But uh, yeah, this is what we're gonna do really so, quick. Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Sounds legit. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again Now they'll always increase by f increments of 500 except so for the last two which Increased by increments of a uh, thousand, so uh, we're just gonna do this really quick. Um, after d after the uh, okay, that's fantastic. We're not gonna trade in Patrick socks yet, but um, I figured since we have the chance, might as well just do it. And uh, you know, so that's like as you can see, we're almost ready. Like we're almost there at the end of the game. Again, the last date will so be Patrick socks. Oh, the last date, and then we go into the boss, whoever the boss might be. I'd so um, it's pretty hard to figure out who the boss will be. It's uh, could be anybody. I don't know if we'll have enough. Let's see. How many do we have? Uh, ooh, yeah, we so will. That's I'm pretty sure. Hopefully. Come on. Yes, we will. So, uh, yeah. This is <laughs> now the most progress-filled so episode ever. Because we got eight golden spatulas in the span of uh, two minutes. Which is always pretty nice. And uh, the yeah, only now we talked to him. robot is the one that's given me them shiny objects. Thank you for your input, sir. Anyhow, we're gonna go back into the Flying Dutchman's graveyard, and then we're just gonna do the thing. It's kind of sad. Last world again. This project is flying by. We've got maybe two, three episodes, and we're done. Um, I've never talked to him again. Let's see what he says. Have you done everything I told you yet? Not exactly. Well, get a loft there and get those robots! I like that, get a loft there. Yeah. So we are back in the Dutchman's graveyard and, uh, oh, fucking evil looker. But, um, again, fucking, this music is so great. He was just helping me get there fat. What a nice guy. Chuck, you know, thank you. Anyhow, as you see, we can now use a sponge ball, and that was what was glowing under it, to get to the open thing. So let's start that off right now. And now the other end is opening. Um, I think you you can't really mess up too bad too much on this one, otherwise you'll be out of it. But like I've probably I've probably missed out at this point honestly because I had to switch out a sponge ball. But uh, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, actually, I could very well be wrong. I guess this one is a lot of wiggle room. Uh, come on. No, I'm not gonna get it. Uh, poor SpongeBob. Yeah, I, I can't fuck that one up, but it's not. This one's not too bad. Um, yeah, I think I'll just meet you guys back there. I don't want you to. Well, actually, it's not too much of a. Yeah, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of boring for you to see. Like, I'm not too sure. You, I might have. Why am I talking about this? Josh, I, Josh is right. You should never talk about anything before. But I think I just might want to cut out the Mr. Krabs uh, st stuff too, because it's pretty easy, but whatever. It might be quick enough, whereas I don't know. Anyhow, we're going to redo this again. Attempt number two. Do no dose. The second. Bounce, 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 bounce. Roll, roll, roll this one. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm glad I didn't fuck up in the last first like two seconds like I did last time. But, um, yeah, this is by far the coolest fun ball rolling thing. It just looks cool. Kind of neat. Anyhow, now, let's get in jail. How great would it be if you just got one second and it closed and you were trapped and you're like, fuck, what am I going to have to do now? Anyhow, now we can just bounce up and boom, 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 boom. Oh. Hit. So now we can actually continue with the rest of this level. Um... The, that special, and I believe it's called, sorry, I'm just gonna go. A Path Through Goo and Goo Tanker Hoy, the two most difficult ones to get in this entire game. Far enough. And I'm kind of concerned because, wait, no, yeah, I do remember all the socks are in this level. And it's kind, it's kind of cool because, yeah, last, I kind of wish that there was more hidden in this one, kind of. 
Because, like, if you look, there's such a disparaging. Like, there's seven in Keld 4 as a shitty level, three in the awesome one, five in the one where you could literally put shit anywhere. Like, I think at the end of the game, they just had to, like... I think they're just like, fuck, we need 80, and then, like, they just... I, again, just time. They're just like, okay, one here, one here. Not enough time to put more, and then 100. And besides, 100 works out, at least it works out so well that it's just... You really want to do it. Like, I kind of wonder with the Mr. Krabs if that was initially planned, or they just said, we don't have enough time. Let's just, um, just put it in there. Okay, so we need to move this. I'm not sure if we can move these ones. But we need to make it so it's we can bounce over here and then just jump up. That's what we gotta do. I think we can actually, yes. This is how we're supposed to do it. I could make that. That's bullshit. Anyway, we're gonna do this again. Come on. So, this is so atmospheric. I just love it. I think that's the thing I really like, which makes me the straightest man of all time, is I really like the atmosphere of these levels. Like, the spooky levels, I just... Something about Halloween and all that, I just love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, well, clearly I'm fucking up somehow. So let's just... Can I, can I hit you all the way there? Maybe that's the key. Oh, you know what I have to do? I have to push this one a bit further off. That's that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm missing out on. Yeah. But I, I like this level because they add a lot of... They just... Well, not add a lot of gameplay mechanics, but they use a lot of gameplay mechanics. Like, they use this... Probably this level uses the most SpongeBob wall jumps out of any level. It's kind of nice that they use... Like, that's kind of the theme of this one. And, like, Sandy's, like, rope swinging stuff. They have a pretty cool puzzle with that, with the order and stuff, kind of like Patrick's one with the, like Patrick's kind of last major puzzle, pa like the Patrick one, it's going to go one in a, a forest to do that, and that's like a Now, hit that guy. I think these are definitely the, like, Probably the most difficult robots in the game. Oh. I noticed there was a guy here. He's taking the good moves, so he's not going to get up. Because, yeah. They always, hide, they always hide them in like the most inconvenient place, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm going to get up this. Okay, so I need one there. That one's facing that one. That one is this one, so I guess that would work. Okay, I think I know what I gotta do. You gotta go back. You gotta go forward. Please. Commute. Oh, I guess you're blocked. You gotta go forward. You gotta go back. You gotta go forward. Oh, maybe this one has to go back. Yeah, okay, so that's what we gotta do. Turns out I didn't know what I had to do, but I stumbled upon the truth. It's kinda like math or something you have to bullshit, but it's... It's like something like math and shit you have to bullshit and just like, ah, uh, well... Oh, so it's five. Okay, I'm just gonna believe it's five. Why not? I wish I had a button capable enough of just knocking. Like, you just push the button and it fucking just shit and breaks. I mean, I guess that's what all buttons are, but it's like... I don't know why they have to make that slide. They're kind of unnecessary to me. I guess it's just so people can't backtrack. But, as you can see... Where is it? Right there. We cannot get to that sock, so we will have to backtrack. So it really doesn't make any goddamn sense. But then again, they did have the box there, so who knows? Anyway, get the golden spatula on the top of this. We're gonna continue. Uh, we're gonna continue a bit. We're gonna continue a bit. Uh, a bit more into uh, to this. Maybe going about halfway. You know, just because last area. Why the fuck not, right? The graveyard of ships. Ahoy there, Mr. Squidward! Swab the poop deck! And for those, aye, of, aye, 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 for aye, those aye, of you aye. who've ever thought SpongeBob's gay, there's your definitive proof. Straight as an arrow. Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum wisp to get? <laughs> it's the last fucking world of the game. How do you not remember what the fuck we've been collecting? That's golden spatula. Platinum Whatever. Wisp. There's one up there. Thank you so much, Goodward. You're so valued. Whatever it is, the answer is no. <laughs> Whatever it is, the answer is no. Squidward, I'm gonna miss you, man. Get butt sex? Maybe not. Maybe not. 
Anyhow. As you can see, this part is going to require a lot of tricky platforming. So, we're going to do that. Jump. 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 The best part about platforming games is when someone just goes, jump, jump, jump. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to die. I gotta say, this project's gone by actually pretty quickly. Like, I imagined it would be about, like, when I was planning it, I thought it would be probably about maybe like 40 episodes. And, um, yeah, no. It's gone by. We're probably gonna be done in like two or three more episodes, and it's just it's just gone by so quickly. Like, um, yeah. I think what I'm gonna do is with the um. By the way, I need to like, right now. with the end of the um with the end of the world. Like, uh, with the movie theater in Bikini Bottom, as you saw, I had forty thousand and one, and that's how much I need for Mr. Krabs. So I'll need to get another 40,000 just by grinding, and I have, like, 2,000 right now. So I think I might just do that after the final boss, and, uh, come back and show that as a bit of a bonus. I don't know when I'll get it out, but, uh, it will be after the project. So, it will be shown, but it will be after the project. But now, as you see, when we go back to the first area, we have a bunch of Texas symbols that probably will lead us somewhere. Hint, hint, I just mentioned it, like, very recently, so probably guess what it is it is chuck it is chuck we are now back to fight chuck that oh and the patrick sock that's the thing but we're more importantly here for chuck kick yeah. anyhow i think i'll do that for today in this episode we got pat got the hardest bachelor in the game well more like most confusing i don't know um, got a Patrick Sock, bought all of the shiny, um, golden spatulas from Mr. Krabs, and are 85 down out of 100. Keep in mind, we got 7 with Patrick, and we're gonna get the last two socks very soon. Anyway, in the next part, we'll continue trying to get the Platinum Whisk, and, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. Um, I know, I, I, I feel confident now that it's been a couple of dates saying that, that I love you. I deeply love you, and um, yeah, the next part will continue. Let's see what he has to say to uh, Sandy. Howdy, Squidward! So much for peace and quiet. <laughs> On that note, we'll end. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next part.